You know, there are certain portions of the First Coast we're keeping a very close eye mm -hmm. on because tidal flooding is a huge concern when it comes to this storm. St. Augustine is definitely one of those places. We're going to continue our live team coverage for you this morning with On Your Side's Lewis Turner. He's out there in St. Augustine, and yesterday, Lou, they saw some flooding on the street there with just the, the tide, even though it was a king tide. So what's it looking like now? Right. Well, you know, we had exactly, you know, we had that, um, that full moon with the eclipse earlier in the week, in fact, and uh, that was history making or at least significant because it's this uh, eclipse we're not going to see again for another three years. And uh, this uh, coinciding, you know, with a full moon, you get higher than normal tides already, but this coinciding with an event that's already fairly historic as well. Uh, Robert Spetta illustrating uh, for us the fact that uh, this is the first time since 2005 we've had ourselves a Florida East Coast landfall and hurricane. That sounds so hard to believe considering just what we get, the action we get around these parts all the time. But the last three days, uh, as we have prepared uh, for uh, this now hurricane, Nicole, we've just watched and we've waited. And it's been this sort of uh, area of low pressure uh, lingering out in the middle of the southwestern Atlantic. But the whole time while it's done that, coupled with an area of high pressure to our north, we've just get, been getting stacked and stacked and stacked up with ocean water with this continual nor'easter. So that, uh, Katie, uh, the last three days just has led to the, the flooding here on Avenue Menendez, which we haven't seen yet. It's going to require a, a high tide, which again, about 9 to 9.30 when we'll see the worst of it here in the middle of that 4 a.m. to 4 p.m worst of the weather that's uh, forecast for our area as well. You know, we've got a couple of significant things happening here. If you think about the timing of all of this, um, we got nights of lights in St. Augustine happening in a little more than a week, right? So good to get this thing done and out uh, so we can get into that holiday spirit. Uh, but in the, the here and now, still uh, seeing the Bridge of Lions open. So people are still going up and over that uh, despite the 38 mile an hour gust we had mentioned. So that's still below the threshold for closing beach, uh, bridges here locally. And we haven't seen any flooding though over my shoulder. Periodically, if you really look, you can see some of the mist and the spray coming up and over. There you go, up and over that seawall, which still some hours away from when it'll be at its worst here with high tide. Continue to monitor on this side of the intercoastal waterway, the Matanzas River, but on the other side, we continue our team coverage now from Davis Shores. We've got First Coast News anchor Rich Donnelly with our coverage from that side of St. Augustine.